Hey everybody, welcome to day one. So first we're gonna start off with alignment. So a good alignment will help with better breathing. So really getting in that core breath. If we're too slunched over or our pelvis isn't in the right place or we're clenching our bum cheeks too much, we're not really giving a lot of space and help for the pelvic floor when we work on those core breaths. So let's start off. So I wanna have your feet pelvis width apart and I want you to focus on your perineum. So that's between your anus and your vagina. Take that space and I want you to put it over your ankles. Good, so just kind of feel that area or vision that area and put it over your ankles. Now focus on your glutes. How do your glutes feel? You're holding too much tension in them. I want you to think about blossoming your bum cheek. So opening up like a flower, really creating space and filling your bum cheeks out. Good, now keeping that space, your perineum over your ankles, blossoming the bum cheeks. Now look down. With straight legs, can you see your full foot? If you're too far over, you're still clenching your bum cheeks. If you can only see your toes. So think about backing your um, pelvis up, sorry, backing your pelvis back, still blossoming the bum cheeks, and then maybe tucking the pelvis forward just a little bit to get that um, space, so your perineum between your ankles. Now put your weight in your heels and the outside of your feet and soften your shoulders, and thinking about, now we're gonna bring attention to our abdomen, so our core. Sometimes we tend to hold a lot of tightness there, which can also be tight on the pelvic floor. So while standing in this position, with your feet pelvis width apart, bringing your perineum between your heels, blossoming your bum cheeks, look down, make sure you can see your feet, and think about relaxing the abdomen. Close your eyes and just really focus on letting go of that tension. Good. Relaxing everything else, relaxing the shoulders. We don't want to create any tension because a lot of times when we create tension, especially in the glute area, um, then we start, in our in our core, we start to have too much um, uh, too much strain on the pelvic floor. And when our pelvic floor is too tight, it's really hard to have it work well with your diaphragm when we start doing that core breathing. Good. So I just want you to then take a second. Focus on your standing, focus, any, focus on any differences that you feel. So blossoming that bum cheeks, so making sure you're not squeezing them and engaging them too much. Good. And creating that space. Good. Where's your perineum? Is it between your ankles? Good, and straight legs. Good, noticing the difference of how you feel. Good work, guys. And then taking a couple breaths in and feeling a different on, difference on how your breathing is. Can you get more air in? Can you let more air out? Good. I find a lot of women tend to hold a lot of tension in your glutes, so I really want you to focus on blossoming those bum cheeks. Good. A lot of times we have tight glutes then our posterior pelvic floor can be too tight. So really focusing on opening it, that vision, that flower, opening up the bum cheeks. Good. All right, now we're gonna move on to some releasing. We're gonna start off with a dynamic side body release. This is gonna really help to release the rib cage and oblique so we can get a big breath in and out when we're doing the core breath. So taking your left hand, place it on your rib cage and your right hand on your hip. You're gonna inhale into your rib cage and then on your exhale, you're gonna lengthen and separate your ribs from your hips. And then your inhale, you're gonna release and exhale to separate the ribs and hips. So it's all about lengthening that area okay so let's take some time and try that so left hand on the hip on the rib cage right hand on your hips inhale in and remember when you inhale really inhale into the rib cage and exhale lengthen inhale
Good, really pull up on that exhale. Three more times. Last one. Good, all right. Just checking into either side, seeing if you notice a difference. Now we're gonna move on to our left side. So right hand on the rib cage and taking your left hand on your hips here, we're pulling away from each other on our exhale. So inhale to expand and exhale to lengthen. Three more. Good, really lengthen, stretch out those muscles. Last one. Good work, guys. Just remember just to focus on how you're feeling on either, side, on, either, on either side. Good, do one big inhale and exhale out. Good work everybody. Now we're gonna move on to the floor. Coming down to the floor with a um, rolled up towel to support your neck on your mat. We're gonna focus on core breath and then add some movement to it. So lying on your back, with your heels close to your glutes. I like to put my hands out so I can get my fingertips to kind of reach my heels. You want to have a gentle curve in our back, but we don't want to have too much of a curve. So we want you to tuck your pelvis forward just a little bit so we have a nice long back to the floor. Palm to the ceiling or on the floor. You're going to close your eyes. I don't have the best pony for this. <laughs> Closing your eyes and we're going to focus on our core breath. If you want, you can put one hand on your stomach just to feel that air rise. Three, two, one, go. So inhale to expand and exhale to release. Focusing on that cylinder, we're filling that cylinder with air. As we inhale and exhale, letting all that air come out. So we want 70% in our rib cage and 30% in our belly as we inhale. And then exhale to let all of that air out into the into the room. Rest. Good, rest it out. We're going to bring awareness now to our core cue. So whatever your core cue is, we're going to add in the Kegel. So whether Start. it's blueberries, you're going to inhale to expand and exhale. Core Q, pick up those blueberries and inhale to release and exhale to pick those blueberries up or if it's sipping a milkshake or maybe it's the jellyfish.
Good, taking a rest and just reevaluating your position. And think about that core cue, visualize it in your head. We're doing one more round. Start. Remember to release the blueberries, release the milkshake. You don't want to hold on to that engagement. We want to release it. That's why I like to really visualize myself picking up the blueberries and then releasing them. Good, rest it out. Pause. Now we're gonna move on to bridge. So this is creating movement with our core breath. So having your feet where they are, I want you to envision that you have a loony between your bum cheeks and you're gonna squeeze that loony as you lift your hips off the floor. And then you're gonna lower, keep squeezing the loony and do a little bit of a release when you bring the hips down and then squeezing your bum cheeks again, that loony in your bum cheeks as you lift your hips off the floor. And then you're gonna lower the hips down. So the reason why we have the loony in our bum cheeks is to really engage the glutes to lift our hips up. Because our hips, sorry, our glutes support our hips and our pelvis. So we really want to engage the glute knee muscles and that means those inner muscles in, in the glute mus inner muscles in the glutes. And the breath is going to be inhale to expand, and then exhale to squeeze and lift the hips up, and then inhale to lower down, and exhale to squeeze that loony and lift the bum up, and then inhale to lower down. All right, let's get going. Start. We have a little bit, a couple seconds just to get in to position. All right, let's go. Start. So we're not gonna do any core cues right now. So no, blue, no blueberries, just focusing on movement with the breath. So exhale as you bring the hips up and inhale. To lower down. Good. You can come back down to your resting position. We're going to do that again, starting with a big inhale through the nose. Start. Exhale, squeeze that loony. And inhale down. Nice and slow. Really feel your glute muscles working. Inhale down. Good, exhale up. Good, rest, seek it out. 
Okay, this last one, if you want to challenge yourself, you can add in your Kegel. So you're going to Kegel as you bring the hips up and release it as you bring your hips down. If not, just keep basic where we are. Last, last one. Inhale to expand and prepare and exhale, bring the hips up. If you're finding it's too much to focus on and scale back on the Kegel. You can always try a couple as well. And then go back to the movement without the Kegel. Nice work, everybody. So we're gonna finish off with a release today. So you're gonna take the bottom of your feet together. We're gonna to do one of my favorite releases. It's just a really nice hip opener. I don't really have enough room to bring my arms out to the side, but if you can, you can bring your arms out to the side. You're gonna bring the bottom of your feet together and just let your knees hang. Palms to the ceiling. And just really focus on opening the hips and just bring your attention to regular breathing. You may notice yourself doing core breath anyway. <laughs> just taking this time to just relax your toes, your knees to the side, letting them hang down, really opening the hips, palms to the ceiling, Relaxing your jaw and your eyelids and your belly. Try not to hold any tension in your core. Feeling your knees get heavier and heavier as you go more into the release. slowly bringing awareness to your toes and your fingers slowly bringing your knees together and then rolling onto your side and taking your hand to come to seated I'm gonna come halfway good work today nice job on day one I'll see you guys for day two